Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications. So, um, Nicki Minaj and Champagne Thickums new collaboration is coming out August 25th. Okay, so this week, um, he is dropping for all the dogs, okay? And then allegedly... Um, word on the street is that Nikki is dropping her lead next month, possibly. Okay. Um, hopefully things don't get pushed back because you know Nikki, she be you know changing stuff last minute. But um, allegedly her lead is coming next month. You know I would have liked if she had performed a lead at the Video Music Awards, and she still could possibly, but I think that would be a reach considering that it's, you know, the 12th is the award show. Um, and I don't know if she's going to drop it before the 12th, but I definitely, definitely think that Nikki should um, attend the Video Music Awards, okay? Um, she's in the lead for voting for two awards, um, best hip hop video, best R and B video. So she's definitely gonna win some awards. And then also her and Champagne Thickums um have made history. Champagne Thickums and Nicki Minaj officially hold the record for most monthly listeners in Spotify history for a female rapper um and male rapper. Okay, so congratulations to them. You know, that's why we call Nicki, Champagne Thickums and Wayne the big three. Okay, because they put up the stats. Not only that, um, Champagne Thickums has um dropped his art cover for his next album called For All the Dogs. And Nikki posted the art cover. The art cover is trash. It's is terrible. I understand that Adonis, when he went to kindergarten class, um, you know, Champagne Thickums clearly took one of his pictures and said, oh, let me make it an art cover, which was a stupid idea um, because it just shows that you kind of being cheap. Um, you don't have any creativity um, and you should have just put this on your refrigerator and call it the day. Um, this don't even look like a dog to me. I was like, what is this supposed to be? No shade. Um, and I understand that a kid drew it, but like I said before, he could have just kept the picture and put it on his refrigerator because his last art cover, um, you know, certified F boy, um, was trash too. All those pregnant emojis. That was corny. I mean, I feel like his creativity getting worse and worse. If Nikki was doing stuff like this, she would be getting dragged, but it's so funny. He can put out lackluster stuff and still go number one based on his connections. I mean, I'm like, goodness gracious. This was just terrible. But I'm excited for Nikki's lead. Um, I'm excited for the um, collaboration with Champagne Thickums, just them two. Um, and, you know, hopefully it's a bop, and I think it probably will be. Now, moving on to Doja, um, a.k.a. Scarlet, okay, because, you know, she's in her alter ego era. Um, allegedly, she got more songs throwing shots at female rappers, okay? She got more shots to bust because she's in her Scarlet era, so be prepared. Now, in Attention and Paint the Town Red, she was throwing shots. She denied throwing shots at Cardi B, but she never denied throwing shots at Ice, Scratch Off, or Nicki Minaj. Now, if you guys remember... And the town is dead, um, she said. I don't need a big feature or a new sidekick. I don't need a fan because my boo like it. That's what she said in the town is dead. And um, some people felt like she was talking about Scratch Off, Ice Spice, and even Nicki Minaj. Okay, some people felt like she was dissing Nicki because um, people feel like Nicki has gotten JT and Ice to be her new sidekick, okay? Um, she's saying she don't need a big feature. I'm possibly talking about Scratch Off and Ice, who do need big features to chart high. To me, it didn't make sense for that 
bar to be about Nikki because Nikki has the highest solo debut in 2023, 2022 with Super Freaky Girl and Red Ruby the Sleeves. So it kind of doesn't make sense when she's the only person that has the highest solo debut back to back. Um, for two solo songs. So it didn't make sense. Why would she need a big feature? But maybe she's saying that Nikki is the big feature and I Spice and Scratch Off need her and Cardi B. But allegedly she's coming with some more shots. So these female rappers better duck if they don't apply. Okay, because allegedly she's going to come out, you know, with more shots. And, you know, this is Scarlet. You know, this is not Doja Cat. She's in her Scarlet era. Okay, so Scarlet throws shots. Uh-oh, Criminal B um, clearly um, is desperate. Um, she is suing Barb's. And she went on a full rant about suing one particular Barb. Because this Barb posted off the cheats fake nudes. Okay, posted a fake video of off the cheat smashing somebody else and Cardi B, you know, she was upset. She copyrighted the post and um she even announced yesterday that she will be making an example out of the barbs um and suing them if they post, you know, edited pictures of her and off the cheat. Their Benny Wayne Walker Jr. is going to feel when like I'll say about a month or less he receives a letter to his workplace and to his home because his son Ashton decided he decided which he's a graphic designer to put tattoos on somebody else's body claiming that is my husband which by the way babe if you wanted to make it more convinced that I was my husband you should make sure that you put the blonde dreads in the bottom since the dress that it was in your picture were black and also my husband is not that skinny so, yeah, yeah, so you guys are going to receive a letter from his lawyer because all these little games that you guys want to play online is going to be over with. So, yeah, um, make sure you have fun explaining that to your father, babes, because you're going to be getting sued and we're going to make an example out of you. Yeah, and that was a terrible AI voice, by the way. So, yeah, bye. So, yeah, she is suing a barb on Twitter. His name is Ashton. I think it's A-Y-Y Walker on Twitter. And um, unfortunately, that person, you know, made a fake video, a fake post saying that it was off to cheat. And Cardi B fans, you know, who have no lives, you know, sent it to Cardi B because they're single. Uh, jealousy is flopping. So now this is a way for them to once again attach themselves to Nicki Minaj. I think that she is suing that Barb to attach herself to Nicki Minaj. She's upset that her single is flopping um, and she's making no money off of music. So she has to get money from the Barbs. OK, because, you know, she's not getting no money from the label. She's been flopping all year. So she ain't been making much. So, you know, the next stop is getting money from the barbs because Nikki has been paying her dust, which y'all should have been paying her dust, you know, on social media. But because y'all was trolling her, now she going to get that coin. So Scratch Off and DeVito performed their flop single on the Unavailable Remix. Now, the original is fire, but unfortunately, he put Scratch Off on it. Which made it a negative zero. Um, that was my rating on it. And with that being said, um, they decided to perform it, and the crowd was kind of dead. So there's clips going around on social media. Um, saying how the crowd was basically dead. And then, you know, she posted, um, the crowd on her Instagram and I'm like, all those people were there and they wasn't really screaming for you like that because you ruined the remix scratch off. And I believe her management company is trying to find big artists to give scratch off cosigns. So that way she can expand her fan base. 
because, um, you know, her regular fans, 25 of the crack pox can't buy all of her music. She don't get no other support unless she collaborates with a big artist because she doesn't have superstar qualities. Okay. She's not captivating enough. So Rihanna, um, gave birth to a baby boy. Um, and it was born August 3rd. Congratulations, I guess. I mean, I don't know if I really care. I don't know why people care. Okay, she's she hasn't done no music, so unless we discuss in music, I really don't care about Rihanna like that. No shade. Unless it's a Nicki collaboration, she can put out an album. Like, I have no reason to care about Rihanna getting pregnant every year. Okay, that's what a person that don't want to drop an album would do. No shade. Now, some fans are speculating on whether Queen B is going to the VMAs this year. Okay, because I guess there's a gap in her Renaissance tour schedule. Okay, so she can allegedly attend. Uh, I'm like, what would be the point? It would make more sense for her to attend last year. I mean, why wait a whole year later? And then some fans are saying that allegedly, um, you know, the only reason why she performed at the Oscars is because Will Packer, um, the producer, asked her to. And that she has um, made a pact to not really do a lot of award shows or go to a lot of award shows. I guess she is boycotting. But here's the thing. I feel like Queen Bee says that, but then she goes to the scammies every year. Okay, so if you're going to boycott award shows, boycott all of them. Don't just boycott, you know, the EBTs, you know, the AMAs and the VMAs and then go to the scammies because you got 30 scammies and you go to the scammies every year. Uh, I don't want to hear, oh, I'm boycotting. Okay, no, 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 no. You go to award shows when you believe that you're going to win. Okay, when you get tipped off that you're going to win and Clown Gay already put you on blast for doing that the V in 2016 when you say you wasn't gonna perform unless you win video of the year. Okay, he already put you on blast for that. So I'm on to you. But anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description. I will see you guys in the next video and have a great day.